everybody. This is Danelle at DD Mini Farms. Now we're gonna put Oreo out into the paddock with the other therapy horses and the two blind horses. So today I'm gonna to show you how to move a horse with low or no sight into a new field. So first off, we're gonna open the gate and head on through. Walk. Now, I would not do this with horses that might be more dominant, but she's been with these horses in the past and these are all therapy horses or blind horses. So we're gonna walk around the outside edge and show her where the water is. So we're gonna go completely around the edge of the paddock. And again, like I said, there should be really no issue about horse squealing and anything because she's been with these horses in the past. This is our make do lean to shelter, the trucker's tarp, but it works for now. There's our little Lily. So you just want them to be able to know their area, what area they have, their fence line. And of course, Oreo has minimal sight. So she's not completely blind. She's also been in this field before she was diagnosed. So this is just returning her back into her field with her buddies. Now, if you were gonna move a blind horse into a field um, for the first time, one that has very limited sight, I of course would have just that horse and its buddy and then introduce other horses. But again, this horse has been in this paddock before with all of these buddies. Now there's Maddie, she's blind. And right behind her, Toon, he's blind. And as you see, they get around. Maddie is just walking around. She knows where she's at. Toon's walking around. He knows where he's at. And I'd go ahead and unhalter her and let's see what she does. Probably run, buck, and play, but <laughs> now Wendy will be put in here in just a moment she's out in the backyard okay let her do what she wants Yes, Oreo, I know you hear my voice. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's looking for Wendy. Yeah. Why don't you go find Wendy? Go get Wendy? They've become buddies. Hey, Toon, you gonna come see her? Hey, Toon. Yeah. See, she knew right where the bucket was. <laughs> Now, Oreo is in heat, and Toon was a stallion for 13 years. He got gilded a year ago because he could no longer be in the stallion crew. So, he smells her. <laughs> There's Wendy. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. 
So just, you know, take it easy, make sure that they know where they are, that there's not really anything that they can get hurt on, just the same as any other field. But make sure that they're with horses that are not gonna pick on them and you should be good. So be sure and do all those YouTube um, fun things, which is like the video. Oh, look, Oreo says I'm in, I'm in charge. And she is running Maddie, uh, Maddie's seeing I horse. Oh, there we go. That was not nice. Oreo. Oreo. <laughs> So again, do all those YouTube -y fun things, like the video, uh, subscribe if you have not, hit the notification bell if you have not, and share with others. And have a great weekend. Bye. Hey everybody, my husband is not scaring Oreo. He is not making her run and she is not scared at all. She is actually running and having fun and was doing so before he came back there. Oreo lost her sight gradually on this farm and she's been cooped up in a stall for uh, four to six weeks. So she was ready to run and exercise her legs. She is fine. Maddie with her two C&I buddies. We have Fire on the left and Legs behind. So if one's not with her, the other one usually is. And she can get around throughout the whole place as long as she has those two with her. She does really good.